I have New York Times bestselling author Joanne Fluke. And how are you today? I'm fine, thank you very much. Well, I'm so excited to have you here. You do some really amazing books, and I think it's a new concept. You've got your heroine is a baker. Yes, Hannah Swenson owns a cookie shop and a bakery in Lake Eden, Minnesota. And she stumbles upon dead bodies and? She does. You know, the, the policemen generally call it sladar that she has. Oh. Rather than radar, she seems to find murder victims. <laughs> oh, fun. And uh, Hannah finds them. And then, of course, she feels obligated to solve the murder, oh, naturally. Yes. And, and the police force, I'm sure, just adores her. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually, one of them does. One of her boyfriends is Mike Kingston who is uh, the chief detective and the Win Winnetka County Sheriff's Department. So she does have her fans in the She has the a department. fan, but he kind of wants her to leave the investigation to him. Mm-hmm. But she probably solves all the murders for them, so they have to indulge her. Well, yes, but every once in a while, Hannah will get into some trouble. She'll get into a little bit of jeopardy, just a little bit. But that's what makes your books interesting. Oh yeah, you and we know. That. We know. I mean, they're cozy mysteries, and we know that Hannah is going to survive. We may say, how is she going to get out of this one? But she will survive. Leave yes. it to the author. You'll yeah. figure out how she's going to get out of it, right? Oh, and sometimes that's tough. <laughs> But that, that's what makes you a New York Times bestseller, is that you figure out great ways of getting her out of peril, correct? Well, I try. Well, apparently you do. And now she has a cat She as does. Well. She has a cat named Moisha, okay. who was a foundling. He appeared on her doorstep in the winter. And let me tell you, winters in Minnesota are cold. Oh my goodness, they're cold. And yeah. poor little thing was shivering, and she took him in. Now he weighs 23 pounds, and he's this kind of really mis mischievous, very mischievous cat. And so she has a lot of fun with Moisha. And now your son was showing me that on your website you have a lot of your readers that will send in pictures of their animals as well. That's right. We figured there was a dog star, why not a cat star? So a lot of the cat people sent in, sent in pictures of their kitties and a lot of dog people sent in pictures of their puppies and I even have a parakeet on there and a bunch of things, yes, well, a horse. Excellent. So you are obviously an animal lover. Oh, I am. I have two dogs and mm -hmm. I sort of have half of the neighbor's cat. Now that sounds gruesome, but it's not. Okay, <laughs> no, Cleo spends probably half a day at my house. The minute I open the dog door in the morning, she jumps the fence and comes over and I have three beds in my office, and one is for Charlie, one's for Bernie, and one's for Cleo. Oh, how fun. Yeah, so I, you know, I write to the sound of purring and snoring. Oh, wow, what an inspiration. It's great, <laughs> it's great. Now, your books also have recipes in them. Oh, do they, they do. Not? Okay, tell us a little bit about the recipes. Where do they come from? Are these family recipes? Are these... Some are. Some are, okay. Some are family recipes. When I first started writing, I really wanted to write a cookbook. Mm -hmm. I spent a lot of time trying to sell a cookbook, and it just wouldn't sell. And I thought, well, uh, maybe I ought to try something else. So I did. I wrote a bunch of different things. But still in the back of my head was, I'd really like to write a cookbook. And then my editor at Kensington Publishing said, Joanne, how would you like to do a cozy mystery series? And I said, oh, well, can I put recipes in it? And he said, sure. Oh, awesome. So that's how Hannah Swenson was born. Oh, that is amazing. So you really wanted to do a cookbook, but you I ended did. up being a mystery writer. I did. Well, part of it was I had all these recipes uh -huh. from my mom and my grandmother and my aunts and neighbors in Minnesota. Uh -huh. And, you know, they bake a lot in Minnesota. It warms up the kitchen, oh, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Especially yeah. in the winter. I used to wake up to the smell of vanilla and cinnamon and chocolate oh. every single winter morning. They never had to call me twice to get out of bed. No. No, but so I've got all these recipes and I wanted to organize them and this gave me the chance. So nice. you get a great book um, about a murder mystery and then you also, and I'm sure it sounds like there's probably some comedy in there as well. Oh yeah. 
A lot oh, yeah, of comedy. there's some comedy. Yes. And then you get a bonus recipe at the end of the book. Oh, you get more than one. Oh, you do. Oh, you do. I think the last book had 23 recipes. Oh, my word. Oh, yes. Well, Some really a, good ones, too. So it is. It's a bonus in every book because you get all these amazing recipes. Yes, it is a bonus. And they're all easy because oh. I do not believe in a recipe that has 23 steps. I mean, that I'm drives me nuts. I hate that. I don't, I don't want to, I want a recipe that forgives me if I make a little mistake. You know, if I measure just a little off, yeah. I, I want it to turn out okay. So I'm very careful which recipes I put in. And sometimes readers write me with recipes, they email me. I have a website, murdershebaked.com, okay. and they will email me and give me family recipes, and sometimes I'll include those too. Well, that is so much fun. So what, what is it over here that we have? Oh, we have triplet chiplet cookies. Oh. Would you like a cookie? Ah, you don't have to ask me twice. That's a yes. cream puff Absolutely. murder, that recipe. Oh, yum. Oh, yeah. And thank you so much for joining me today. Oh, thank you for asking me.